Hey everyone, I had a dream last night that Spirit wanted me to share, so I'm going to do this quick little video. Uh, welcome to Ancient Souls Awakening channel. we love to have you. Go ahead and like and subscribe and definitely pollinate this message if it resonates with you. Last night, I had a dream that my daughter and I, we were watching a movie and I looked over at her leg and it was a little something crawling on her leg and when i looked closer it was a baby turtle we were all excited oh and when we went to go grab the baby turtle the baby turtle started trying to run and then it turned into a flea and then it, it went under the bed and it was total chaos from us running around the room trying to um catch this turtle and Spirit said, I need you to share with the collective that we need to stop chasing abundance. And Spirit reminded me in my own life in which I, uh, the last three years as I have been in entrepreneurship, I have been trying to break the wealth code to break the abundance code. And Spirit showed me how every activity that I engaged in the last three years, even if it seemed like I was working towards abundance, that I was in fact reinforcing that abundance is separate from me. And that's because there's so much of like, okay, let's monetize the magic. All right, I, I got, uh, this is how many bills I have. And so I need to create this for this bill. And I need to bring in this money for this bill. And bills, bills, bills. Can God pay my bills? And Spirit says, stop taking focus. Uh, take focus off the money and put focus on the creation. If we recognize that inspiration is a download and we simply just need to receive it. We didn't, we weren't doing anything. We were enjoying a movie, sitting up, laying in the bed, enjoying a movie, eating some popcorn. And abundance came in the moments of rest, not in the moments of working. So you got to ask yourself, am I doing things that reinforce my separation from abundance. Whenever you're doing spell work and lighting candles for something to come to you, you are reinforcing that that thing is outside of you. Whenever you are engaged in, okay, I got you put more focus on the bills. Like I cannot imagine how much I can express to you guys over the last three plus years as I have been in entrepreneurship, how I have not been in focus on my gifts and my capabilities. Yes, I be in these books. Yes, I study. Yes, I experiment. But all of that is being done with the underlying energy of not enoughness. And so check in your life where you are operating in activities in which could be perceived by source energy that you are chasing. You're chasing love. You're chasing abundance. You're chasing all the things that you want. And by chasing it, you actually turn that good fortune, that blessing that came to you into something that shouldn't even be. You should be chasing a flea. We don't chase fleas. And when we run after money, we chasing fleas. But when we sit in our restness, sit in our joy, sit in our happiness, sit in our blissfulness, allow our creations to come to us effortlessly, then the turtle will simply just show up. All right, the turtle will simply just show up. So that's my message for you today. Love you much. Bye.